Ready to read level two. Henry and Mudge in the Green Time. The picnic. In the summer, Henry and his big dog Mudge liked to go on picnics. Henry packed the food. He packed jelly sandwiches, pears, and ginger snaps for himself. He packed dry dog food and popcorn for Mudge. They both drank water. One Sunday, they went to the park for a picnic. Henry put all the food on a picnic table, while Mudge chased some ants under a tree. Mudge was so big that his tail went whack every time he ran around the tree. Whack, 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 whack! Henry laughed at him. Soon they began eating. Henry chewed his jelly sandwich while he threw pieces of popcorn into Mudge's mouth. Mudge always liked dessert first on picnics. While they were eating, a yellow bee landed on Henry's pear. Henry didn't see the bee. Henry picked up his pear. Ow! Henry cried. Mudge jumped. The bee flew away. Ow! 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 Henry cried. He shook his hand again and again and again, but his hand hurt more and more. It hurt a lot. Tears came to Henry's eyes. His hand hurt so much. It had a puffy white circle on it. Henry just had to cry. He sat down beside Mudge and held on to his hurting hand and cried. Mudge sniffed Henry's hair. Mudge sniffed Henry's hand. Mudge put his big nose in Henry's ear. But Henry kept crying. Then Mudge licked Henry's face. Mudge liked the taste. It was salty. So Mudge licked Henry's face again and again and again. Every tear that Henry cried, Mudge licked away. Henry cried, Mudge licked, and the hand hurt. But in a while, the hand stopped hurting. Henry stopped crying. And Mudge stopped licking. Henry looked at Mudge and smiled. Henry picked up a ginger snap. He took one bite and gave Mudge the rest. Thanks, said Henry. Mudge wagged his tail and waited for another cookie. The bath. On hot days, Henry liked to give Mudge a bath. Henry liked it because he could play with the water hose and because he could cool off. Mudge hated it. Mudge knew when he was going to get a bath. He would see Henry looking for the dog shampoo. And when he saw Henry hooking up the water hose, he tried to hide under the steps. But it never worked. Henry would take Mudge into the front yard in the sun and he would hose him down. Mudge hated it. His eyes drooped, his ears drooped, and his tail drooped. When he was all wet, he looked like a big walrus. Henry laughed at him. Then Henry would soap him up. Henry scrubbed his head and his neck and his back and his chest and his stomach and his legs and his tail. Mudge really hated this part. He drooped even more. Then Henry hosed Mudge down again. But before Henry could grab a towel, before Henry could get Mudge dry, Mudge always got Henry back, because when Henry let go, Mudge started shaking. He started with his head, then he shook his neck and his back and his chest and his stomach, and his legs, and his tail. Mudge shook so hard that when he was done, he was mostly dry, and Henry was mostly wet. Then Mudge looked at Henry and wagged his tail, while Henry dried Henry with a towel. The Green Time Beside Henry's house was a big green hill. 
late on summer days, Henry and Mudge went to the top of the green hill. They looked down. They saw Henry's white house. They saw Henry's blue bike. They saw Henry's wooden swing. On top of the green hill, Henry felt big. He felt like a king. He saw his things below him, and he felt very big. I am king of the green hill, Henry said. He looked at Mudge. You are my dragon. Mudge wagged his tail. Your name, Henry said, is Fireball. Mudge wagged again, and you are very scary, Henry said. Mudge wagged some more. Henry and Mudge marched all over the top of the green hill. They met other dogs who had dragons. They chased them away. They met monsters. Mudge ate them. They marched and marched till they could march no more. Then, they found a magic tree on the green hill. It was a tree for kings and dragons who were tired. Henry and Mudge sat down under the tree. Henry put his arms around Mudge. They were glad for a magic tree. They closed their eyes, and a boy and a dog slept together on the green hill in their green time.